guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Sorry, I'm adjusting my camera. Uh, not my camera, my microphone. Remember, red hearts have made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back. Because I have yours, all right, we're going to pull and see a message to see what the universe wants us to know. Uh, this is a Mystic Forest Oracle deck, and it says, time to act, time to act. And it came in the reverse and simplify life. So let's listen here. It says, life is meant to be simple and easy. Don't let superficial energies distract you from your true essence. Simplicity and purity will lift your spirit. Simplicity and purity will lift your spirit. So that is a message for you to simplify your life and to know that, yeah, it, it and then look at the bottom of there. It's don't give up or whatever. So that is the thing that you have to understand when it comes to everything that you have going on. And I know sometimes it's easier said than done, but the thing is, it's time to act. It's time to stop letting people control your mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, and whatever it's it's time for you to act on the things that you want to do in life and it says you don't have to know everything in advance take the first step and watch it unfold you can deal with whatever your path reveals you are ready so you're ready it's time to act and at some point the reason why it might might have come in reverse is because at some point you didn't understand or know how to do that but the universe is saying it's time to act right now this is a this is a telepathic uh, oracle deck right here that is giving you a message to see what it is, so how you feel, and what it is that you have going on. And so the thing is, is that once you start simplifying your life, then you'll realize why it's time to act, and you need to embrace and let go. And the other card deck said, yeah, and a surprise. Embrace and let go, and the surprise is coming. And it says that right here um, when it comes to, uh, do, 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 not embrace, it's under simplify. It says, don't let superficial energies distract you from your true essence simplify simplicity and purity will lift your spirits and it says surprise you may be surprised on how you feel after that and this one says you can deal uh with whatever your path reveals you are ready so you're ready so let go and embrace it says embrace what fate has in store for you and then it also says let go let go some things are best let uh best let go and some things are best let go and let the universe work it out in its divine timing so embrace change embrace and simplify and again attract you will attract the things that you want but that is where the surpri surprise will come because it says don't give up surprise you know attract you're going to get the things that you want and be able to attract the things that you want you just have to believe and this is to me like i told you guys the other day my sister always says let go and let god and that is what you need to understand. So whatever, let go and let the universe take control, you know, whichever spiritual being that you believe in, let go, you know, because in the past, this is what you were dealing with and how you were feeling. And that's why, yeah, envy, they're not you or somebody uh, was feeling. So there is a hater. It says spiteful and jealous. Somebody has been jealous and spiteful of you. And inferno is here chaos job everything crumbling you feel like everything is crumbling but however you need to go ahead and understand that broken mirrors come with addictions roller coasters and toxic connections so something in regards to your connections make you feel like you don't have the power to be able to move forward or made you feel like it wasn't time to act it was just time for you to sit there and let things go and be what they are but you have to be able to embrace the simple things in life and be able to embrace you know everything and that is when you uh yeah realize that what you attract and it says unpredictable secret and then it says um attractive so the black hole energy of feeling like it's not time to act feeling like the universe doesn't have your back confusion distant and alienating this is when you learn the di the difference of letting go and letting things happen and this is extremely fast everything starts to happen and um at some point you may you might feel like the time is not now to act but again when you're around people that are, are are spiteful and are just haters and you know you just try to not deal with their energy and i think that's why that came out you have to embrace and let go but then at some point then you have to take that leap and jump back out there and say you know what now it's time the black hole i've been already there everything that's going to happen moving forward it is very unpredictable i don't know what is going to happen but i do know that 
I'm ready for whatever the universe has to offer. And I've been trying to live a simple life because fighting for what you love. Yeah, claiming what's yours. Love is a battlefield. Love is a battlefield. Y'all know that song. But anyway, yeah, running away. You're trying to run or you have been running from your problems or not necessarily running, just trying to get out of that that nasty negative energy and knowing they fucked up. Yeah. And so fulfilling your fantasies is what's going to happen. And then what happens is that these people that have treated you or made you feel some type of way um, are no, they're going to know exactly what they did and how they, they're going to feel some type of way. And you just have to be able to say, you know what? I try to, you know, sit there, you know, and claim what the, let the universe tell me what is mine and claim that. But at some same point, you were this person, place, thing, or situation was very spiteful. The card fell on the floor. Let me see what it is. It's in the reverse. Um, yep. Uh huh. Self indulgence. So, um, the thing is, it says self indulgence, self worth and value, time to heal, shadow work, and self appreciation. You weren't appreciating this journey that you've been on. Then the snake is here. Competition and envy the other woman look over your shoulder. So whatever you've been dealing with the people that you've been around You've been feeling like they've been fight spiteful in uh, you know in that toxic type energy But um, here's the thing you have been the, the self-indulgent it, It's like no you haven't been indulging in anything You've been trying to sit back and wait for time to take action and it says unconditional love self-love wholeness affection attraction and selflessness so you had to run away from all of the different emotions that you were going through going through and learn to really just love yourself for who you are and go from there and sometimes it's easier said than done but at the same time you have to realize that when you start to simplify you start to, the universe starts to yep toxic energy show you who people really are and that toxic energy starts to come out of people who sit back and watch you like how can you sit there and not panic in regards to being able to uh um, King of Swords energy to be able to have mental clarity of what it is that you want or being able to sit in your truth and kind of wait for things to happen, you know, and to be so calm and yet they are so chaotic and it makes you feel like, you know, the toxic energies, consequences of their actions, of their actions uh, are, or your actions are, you know, not worth it. And it makes you want to just sit there and, and you know, they're, they're basically, yeah, Page of Wands energy. Yeah, so the Page of Wands energy is yesterday, it's history, tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing real is the present moment, but the Page of Wands being in the reverse just lets you know that the lack of direction that you have in regards to why you're procrastinating and the conflicts that you have, your mental conflicts and also the conflicts of other thing, everything else, this person, place, thing, or situation has been very unpredictable for you. They've been making you feel like you're like, like a snake or like you're in competition or... Uh, they're envious of you, but you're not doing anything but kind of letting the universe take control. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups energy. But the thing is, is that we're going to pull more cards. With the Page of Wands being out here, again, you've been feeling like there is a lot of conflict. You've been feeling like, you know, when it comes to, you know, you being able to get to a situation where you have a lack of direction, you know, that you're just letting go and you know not really ready to take action and this person is forcing you to do that but they're going to realize that at the end of the day they fucked up yeah because you're struggling right now and the three of cups energy they're going to be grateful for who you are and yeah instead of the ego energy yeah so their ego is going to soon show its face or whatever and they're going to realize that they fucked up because they understand that once you remove your energy it's never going to be the same and that is the roller coasters that you've been on when it comes to having toxic connections and why you really didn't want to involve people in your life and so now the universe is saying nope let go and let flow embrace it and now it's time to act and that's the reason why at first you were just sitting there allowing the you know allowing things to kind of meditate or or not mess not meditate allowing i'm not going to take those oh no i'm not going to take those allowing things to kind of come together five of pentacles five years you've been kind of struggling and here it is the king of swords comes out twice right so this is now a king of swords that is confident in acting if you look at the difference now you're like you know what fuck it whatever the situation is I just have to stop thinking about it and just take action. And the King of Swords energy says, wait, let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Um, do, 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 do. Where is it at? Where is the King of Swords energy? Oh, I know I have it somewhere. I have it right here. No, I don't. 
uh, King of Swords says, oh, be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, go after it in a single-minded determination. I remembered. Um, be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, and go after it in a single-minded determination. And so with the King of Swords, you're going after it. You've sat for so long, now you have the strength, but something that makes you feel unsure when it comes to the Knight of Cups energy, following your heart. You don't want to make this head-over-heart decision or this heart this head over heart decision because you know that once you walk away from the situation it's three girls there it could be sisters this could be a relationship this could be yeah it's going to cause conflict five of wands energy uh, once you walk away from the situation the night of the night of uh, cups energy my dog is barking the night of cups energy once you walk away and that's the reason why you're unsure is because you're going to feel like you know what it's okay um you know, I would follow my heart, but right now it's like, no, I'm very moody at this point. The Five of Cups energy again, excuse me, the Five of Wands energy is conflict. Hold on, let me see. Let me look at my camera. Hold on one second. It's conflict when it comes to these new opportunities, the Ace of Cups energies. Hold on, let me see. I don't know what he's barking at because I know the gardener is out there. But anyway, uh, the, the Ace of Cups energy is just allowing you to understand that you have the right to be able to have your cake and eat it too, to go and have new relationships, be, be, be passionate about the things that you want to create and the things that you want to do. And at some point, these people make you feel bad for you trying to uh, figure out what your next move is. And I think that's what it is. You were in a situation where you were not trying to act. You were just trying to let the universe guide you. But this person is forcing your hand. Yeah, higher fit energy. Uh, this person is forcing your hand, but even though they know that you're struggling, even though they know that you're, you know, having issues about the past and also the future, you know, you went through something that you basically had to, you know, kind of get through. And so the Hierophant energy, unlearning to relearn, but also with the Hierophant, it's just letting you know that sometimes, you know, you are restricting yourself and, um, you know, it's it's like challenging yourself to be able to do something different but at the same time yeah the tower in the reverse you're not ready to end or to start over uh the tower energy says sometimes you have to tear down the limiting structures you've built for yourself to move forward rebuild better stronger and wiser and so you haven't got to that point to where you were ready but the universe is like you know what don't worry about it uh the king uh, uh want the excuse me the knight of wands energy drake energy which is you only live once be bold be fearless do what you love but the Knight of Wands energy is also in the reverse. So it's causing you to feel angry or to feel like, you know, all this stuff is happening and you feel reckless. You feel like not necessarily reckless, but the universe is saying the Knight, the King of Wands energy. So with the King of Wands energy, it's letting you know that, you know, you have saw the bigger picture. You know what it, what you want. You have to overcome these challenges. And sometimes this is the universe's way of having you claim the things that's yours and that's fighting for what you want and this is the queen of cups energy so the queen of cups energy is you're going to do it um in the upright which is basically being compassionate calm and comforting to yourself in regards to this situation because sometimes it's easier said than done yeah and you're going to manifest the things that you want hold on one second yeah so you're going to manifest the things that you want and that's what the magician energy is so let me tell you what it shows me at the bottom of each deck that underneath these cards right here, which is basically, it says the ego, five of swords, energy, an unwinnable situation, broken mirrors are here, which is addictions, roller coaster rides, and toxic connections, don't give up, um, is another one, attract, and you're attracting what you want, you're not giving up, the love is here, you're running away uh, extremely fast uh, from uh, energies, and you're manifesting the things that you want, this is the last card that I pulled, in regards to this so if i was to do which i think i just might do because uh that is where we are so you're embracing and letting go of the things it says sometimes things are best let to let go and let the universe work it out in divine timing that's where the tower in the reverse and also the knight of wands the drake energy being in the reverse because you have to be able to uh get over your angry impulsive energy and go from there and so i'm gonna go ahead and show you and i haven't done this in a while i'm going to go ahead and show you what it's like to just let go and let god or let go and let the universe uh guide you from here you know so once you start to take action this is the universe saying you know what you took action i'm going to go ahead and and be your guide king of wands energy is what we're going to look at right now which is seeing the big picture and um being the leader and overcoming the challenges that you went through so let's go ahead and look at this simplified 
life. So you're going to have a simplified life and you're going to do it with uh, emotional balance. You're going to be surprised on the way the universe goes and works with you. It says chaos. Everything is crumbling. It's crumbling for a reason. The universe has your back. It says you might be confused. You might be dealing with a lot of snakes and you might be questioning friendships, but you're fighting for the things that you love. And if you're fighting for the things that you love, the universe is letting you know that, hey, this is something that you said that you wanted. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and, 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 you know, uh, despite how you feel and if you feel like you're ready, I'm going to go ahead and just let these things crumble. Chaos, you know, everything's crumbling, a job loss, uh, and you might be surf surprised, um, but you're going to have to alienate yourself, distance yourself from the confusion and from the feeling of somebody is in competition with you or somebody is, you always have to look over your shoulder. That's kind of what it is. And you're going to do it with empathetic energy uh, when it comes to the Queen of Cups. And sometimes it's easier said than done. But once you get to that point to where you're doing that, then you're going to start to see everything unfold. I'm going to pull a regular tarot uh, to see and just the simple fly life. We're going to clarify these things. And then I want you to be able to look at what I've seen at the bottom of the deck. So the cards that come out is again, the unwinnable situation. Exactly. Like I said, Oh wait, the unwinnable situation, the queen of pentacles. So the unwinnable situation, ego type energy, uh, that was, there was ego. Uh, you were unsure of, of what and how and why the Five of Swords energy unwinnable, but the Five of Swords also being um, um, being uh, unsure is just letting you know that, you know what, it's past resentment and you have to make amends with yourself. And the reconciliations, um, it's just like now you're in charge of your cake and eating it too. You're not letting anybody hold anything over your head. The You know, you're fighting for what you love and you're distancing yourself from that energy and surprise will happen when it comes to, yeah, growth. So the surprise, surprise, look, the sun energy with the growth, you're going to grow uh, based upon this energy and the inferno, the things, the job losses, yeah, king of pentacles energy, you're going to be in charge of what you do. You're going to have wealth. You're going to have business relationships. You're going to be very disciplined. You're going to be the leader. You're going to be very abundant because the confusion, the distance, the way that the tower energies came out, the universe is letting you know you have, you have saw or the, you looked ahead. You looked ahead. You weren't worried about the future. You were worried about the right now because the Drake energy, you only live once and the page of wands coming in, uh, excuse me, the page of wands being in the reverse, saying that you were always worried about the past and also the future. You're, you're looking at things from a distance and saying what it is that the universe wants from me. You're looking like, okay, this is you distancing yourself, but it also is you looking and trying to see what it is that you know, is next for you. You're looking ahead. This is growth. And that goes with the same thing as the surprise and the sun card. What are you fighting for? Uh, you're claiming what's yours. Your love is the battlefield, you know, loving yourself. You're, you're claiming the energies that you have lost or the things that you've lost in the past. But yeah, and the unknown, you're claiming that you're fighting for what you love. You don't know exactly what it is that you're, you're going to do moving forward, but the moon energy that mysterious energy of the moon is just letting you know that you have to remember who you are. That reminds me with this card being here when uh, Mufasa and Simba, well, no, uh, Rafiki and Simba was at the water and, and they're looking at the, the stars and the moon and also through the reflection of the water. And the people that are in competition with you, which you never were, the ones that were looking over your shoulder uh, to try to see what you were doing and, you know, going from there. Yeah, those people who didn't want to work want to work with you and uh, Three of Pentacles watched you maybe three years of, of judgment, you know, maybe three years of you having to worry about certain things or ask somebody, uh, swallow your pride and ask somebody for help with something. Three years, Three Pentacles, teamwork, implement, implement, implementation, sorry, I, uh, and you learning from the past snakes are going to be the reason why moving forward three of cups energy when you are grateful for friendship situations or whatever it is yeah hermit energy you're you've done a lot of soul searching in regards to this and it's not well this will not happen so you will have a, a compassionate uh calming and comforting type of energy but the thing is is that you have to experience this and go within and that's where you distance yourself and look ahead to try to see what it is that you needed and wanted and what you were trying to do because you did not know 
exactly where the universe is going to take you. And the memories of the past, the Six of Cups energy, comes with endings. So you're going to end these situations that no longer serve you. And that comes with the Knight of Cups energy. And the Knight of Cups energy is always following your heart. It'll never lead you astray because it knows things the mind can't explain and so or, or change. And so the thing is, is that that's where the universe is telling you, simplify your life, move forward, distance yourself, fight for what you love again even though you don't know exactly what it is, but you're going to end these things. The death energy says embrace change and let go of what no longer serve you. Death isn't the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings. And to somebody, they needed to hear that these are new beginnings that are happening for you. And the Knight of Cups energy is just to let you know that, you know what, when this happens, the only thing that you can do is just to move forward and to follow your heart. And that is a part and why you're running away and you're not giving up because of the things that you attract and you're being able to manifest change in the things that you want. So now that we have the bottom of the deck figured out, let's go ahead and look at the bottom of underneath, what was underneath the bottom of the deck. And that's the endings that will bring new beginnings, right? And so um, let's see. Hold on one second. Let's see. Uh, yeah, the endings that bring new beginnings. So here we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put these. I always put my cards the same way uh, every time I try to at least. But yeah, the endings. So I'm going to pull at the bottom of the deck just so you could see exactly what it is that I'm looking at right now. So we have the magician here. And this is how they came out. Uh, maybe not in this particular order, but I'm trying to get it close to that. So we have the, um, yeah, this goes right here. The meteor, something happened fast. You're running away. I think this goes here. This goes there. Broken mirrors here. Yeah, so this is the energy that you've been going through. Love is here. Uh, love is here. So all of these different energies are just letting you know that you're on the right path. You're running away from the things that do not serve you. You're following your heart. You know the difference between ego and why you have to manifest something different. And also, you're not giving up. And so that's what these people that are looking over your shoulder is wanting you to do is to give up. But you're like, no, I'm attracting greatness. And in the process of me attracting greatness, I'm going to go ahead and I know that I'm going to feel lost. I'm going to be you know, fleeting and running and doing things like that. But it's all about my unconditional love and the self-love that I have for myself. And that's you following your heart and manifesting the things you want and not really worrying about ego. And so that is where the death energy comes in at. It, again, embrace change. Let go of what no longer serve you. Death isn't the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings. And so the broken mirrors and, and things happening the way that they are, you're attracting greatness. The appeal of soul pairing goes beyond superficiality. And so you're attracting greatness. This could be a partner. This could be, you know, understanding what it is to not give up. And it says it's okay for things that things don't always feel easy and effortless. Some um, of the best moments in life happen during the and after hard times. Keep believing. And so that's what the universe is telling you in things understand why you're doing it and keep believing in yourself and don't let anything stop you by you following your heart and learning what self-love is those toxic connections will always be cut off and those toxic connections will come with unwinnable situations that will come with you feeling some type of way it come with conflict disagreements and you know when it, somebody winning at all costs or feeling you know and I, I explained to you hurt people hurt people but in the process of somebody hurting you they're hurting in themselves and so you just have to take it with a grain of straw uh, a grain of salt and say this person kept looking over my shoulder this person trying to kept trying to make me feel this type of way and the only thing you're doing is sitting back and letting the universe bring something to you so now that you know that the universe is bringing something to you you're not giving up but you're going to allow the universe to say hey this i'm ready for you to receive and that's why it says attract the, the positive things that you want and be ready to receive so i'm going to go ahead and pull from the crystal deck uh, which is the watermelon tourmaline and the uh, four agreements if you want to know my perspective of the four agreements don't take it personally yep that's what it is a part of the four agreements easier, easier said than done but once you get it it says relinquish self-importance don't take it personally 
And um, this is just what I was saying. Personal importance or taking things personally is a maximum expression of selfishness because we make the assumption that everything is about me. I told you, it's not about you. It's about them. It's about what they're going through. And so hurt people hurt people and misery loves company. The watermelon tourmaline tourmaline is tourmaline is the heart chakras. And it says release love and joy. Release love and joy. That's sending strength and healing no matter what. If, uh, no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you a lesson. And the lesson is to love, love them for who they are and move forward. And don't be afraid to walk away. It says, I approach the world with love and joy. I approach the world with love and joy. And things will start to happen to you really fast in a good way. And you're going to be manifesting the things that you want. And that's why you were in hermit mode trying to figure out what was your next move. But the universe has a way of not letting these people win and letting allowing you to win by you pushing forward and saying, you know what, these are the things that I need to do in order for me to win and be successful. I'm manifesting with the thing in my heart, no matter what it is, I don't know, but I'm going to make sure that I do the things that I need to do for myself and go from there. So let's let this old energy go. Okay, so let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.